Who's afraid of <laughs> See the wolf. I'm very wolfish. Yeah, yeah. The show in one word. Action. Sorry. Oh, I know. <laughs> Intelligence. <laughs> nice. I didn't want to say it, but. <laughs> you get to wear great clothes, and Belle, like she wears thousand dollar shoes. Where do they come from? We don't know. <laughs> she sells her used books <laughs> <laughs> on eBay. She's a rare but we can't used get out books. of Storybrooke. <laughs> I remember after you watched season one, you went, oh my God, they shot so much of my butt. <laughs> I went, look at those camera angles. I was there angles. too. I bent over a lot and they, they definitely zoomed in on my butt. I didn't know that was happening. <laughs> we all knew it was happening. You were just acting away. Like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, you know. So the eye candy. Team player. <laughs> You know, it was tiring. You know, the first and, day and, and, and we had to, um, you know, he wants like his big break, but he really doesn't know what he's asking for. Really long time. And then he finds himself. It was early in the morning, and I had to stretch. Of an outbreak. I don't think I'm gonna make it through this movie. The first day was a bit rough, but then I got my stamina back. Towards like you know the third act. I remember actually the first time because I never get to see Lana usually in fairy tale land. I'm usually out with snow or somewhere else. And I remember we were walking. In the trailers one day, and you came out of your trailer, and I'd never seen you in your getup, and you were so tall, and I was like, oh, and your boots were. Like <laughs> to it. <laughs> Bravo. Amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> to also do a lot of weapons training, which was crazy. Because <laughs> I'm from Canada, so I had no experience whatsoever. <laughs> a gun. It's like, so I have to fire this? <laughs> at the wall. Okay. You look so natural though. You look great. Well, thank you. Thank no. you. It's fun. It was actually fun. I, it turns out I'm a pretty good shot, which is pretty funny. <laughs> if you look at the menu, which they never show close up, the prices in Storybrooke are amazing. Wheat toast is 69 cents. A hot dog is 79 cents. It you know, good. There's no inflation in Storybrooke. Seasons ago, we talked about how fun it would be if Red went to the dark side as well, but now that you are at the dark side, that wouldn't make any sense. But I think, you know, I can run around like a wolf and be your little sidekick. Wolf <laughs> sidekick. I particularly like this weapon because you can decapitate someone's head and then you can dig their grave for them. And there were all these candles set up along the counter. Il y avait des bougies partout sur le comptoir. And I was talking to someone. And all of a sudden, one of our crew members came running up to me and tackled me. <laughs> Cliffhanger. Um, tackled me, and my hair, the whole back of my hair, had caught on fire. And thankfully, it was the fake hair. Um, but it was destroyed, and I was fine. Uh, so it's not really funny, but that's probably the, my most uh, memorable moment on set. It was funny after. We have, there's a new baby now in, mm -hmm. in their, their life together, and so it'll be interesting to see how that works into the story. And You'll be the number one babysitter. Uh, yeah, me and I'll be Henry and, and the baby, so. Although Henry probably doesn't need to be babysat anymore. Oh, yeah. He's growing up. And that's his good. Voice good is thing changing. there's a new baby. I'd be out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I always really wanted to be Tinkerbell, and I tried to convince Adam and Eddie that Little Red Riding Hood should also be Tinkerbell in disguise, and they didn't go for it. So I'd have to say Tinkerbell. Okay. Uh, in, in season two, uh, in the this episode when Belle gets kidnapped, there's a scene where uh, Bobby and Josh and I are looking for her, and we're walking down the road, and I am looking, sniffing her, and I had to sneeze, and I looked at, I looked on YouTube of uh, dog sneezes, <laughs> so I tried to sneeze like a dog. <laughs> and how do dogs sneeze? They kind of like, it's interesting, they kind of do this thing, like they're kind of surprised when they sneeze, and they kind of like shake their whole head like that. <laughs> It's really cute, actually. I don't know if I put that off, but it was fun to watch a lot of puppies sneezing. <laughs> she did a movie 
once where she died. I was sitting next to her and I was like watching her on screen and like, <laughs> you're alive, okay. I should preface this that we've all been eating a lot of candy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so we're kind of, I, well, I can only speak for myself, but I'm really hyper. <laughs> Should we go for 20 years? We'll all be in walkers, you know? I'll, I'll be a gray wolf. <laughs> Megan, what have uh, any Adam over once upon a time told you about the possible future for, for Ruby, for Red? As I've, I've said to a few people, Red never died, Ruby never died. She's around somewhere. She's, I like to think she's just like running around in the woods in wolf form. She's like, you know, I want to stretch my legs and go for a run. So uh, I think that uh, we'll, we'll be seeing her again.